ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is Starpoint Gemini Warlords, our playthrough, and we are in Galactic Gemini Domination. Anyways, so, as we're doing all of this fleet work, and we'll be using our fleet pretty much continuously from here out, I thought I would show you guys two different ways that you can build fleets that you don't have to actually build yourself. So, first and foremost, and the easiest, is prisons. Okay, you're going to see these. That's what they look like. It's a little red thing. All over. There's like 20 some odd little prisons. And you have to make sure that you have been upgrading your troopers. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that you're going through and you're hitting privateer, cutthroat, brigand. You know, you want to make sure that you're up... Um, and you can at least capture probably frigate size. That's when I started going after these prisons here and there checking. So about frigate size, uh, spaceship, and then as many perks as you skills and perks as you can get into uh, your warfare here. And of course, negotiation negotiations. Now, uh, two and three are locked when it comes to level progression so you'll have to work your way up but you can blast through a good portion of these and get yourself in a solid position and then all you got to do is hit your context menu Alarm deploy troops Security it'll immediately send a group after you all hands as you can see here will. and so i would suggest having at least a small fleet with you As we slowly advance, advance successful. It says 100%. Now you can, and, and the reason it says 100% is that it is already at 1%. So you can shoot this, and it'll raise your chance of catching it. Because if you don't um, conquer it, you just basically sit here, start over, and it'll keep sending ships. So it's also a good way if you do this early to sit somewhere where you can make a bunch of money off of picking up stuff so now let me show you the important part here bum, bum. once they get blown to hell we should have a couple of new guys pop up so go to your map and all of a sudden now We've got uh, one Corvette, two gunship, and another Corvette, two gunships. So, HQ wow. HQ sends word that one of our fleets has finished bunch. their task. But there you go. That's a real fast, easy way. So, let's see now. We've got uh, two Corvette, four gunship that will split off into one of our other little groups. Now, the other way. And to do this, you have to make sure that your construction, your trade center here is on the second tier at the point when you do that and HQ you're sends rocking word and rolling here and you're getting your trade going task. as you can see here right civilian tasks real easy in fact I'll even do that you can see if you look up here when it comes to my command points I'm at 86,000 wait a minute I should only be at 63 and the way that I did that is any stations that you see that have this little money mark but is a shipyard or or a uh, max command power 2000 a military station here either one of those you can build fleets and depending on how much scrap you have you can actually build a bigger fleet than this and I'll show you guys that probably in the next video because what I'd like to do is after I smash an area I get rid of all the small stuff so I know so I can get all of my high-end cruisers into my um, command points because now I can't build any more ships of course because this is way over but something to keep in mind is you guys can see I'm way over here so now let's move on to conquering Gemini alrighty so here we are so my game plan currently because I had to jump in and take over this little uh, space here because for some reason this barony they split 
and this was the only red spot, so I had to jump in and get it. So, my game plan is, of course, we're going to take over this area here, and then we're going to take over. So, we're going to take over Corion, then we're going to take over Ho Ho Hogasha, and Ferus. And that's a huge chunk of land, right? So it, should, it, it gives me a lot of opportunity to show you guys different ways to go at it. We're going to do the traditional way here, where which is basically you wipe all their fleets, and then you take your main fleet, and you take out Corion. That's what we're going to do. HQ sends word so, that one of our fleets have finished their task. What we're going to do is we're going to talk to the ambassador. Yo, what's up? Send nice beer, dude. I have some things to go over with you. You stain the system with your existence. I am the savior. Yeah. Now we get to kill. So as you can see, everything's already lighting up here. So, we put that guy there to help. And that's my next beast. And that should be their other big one. So, we're going to take him send him there this guy's kind of just extra hanging out and that is one carrier so we're gonna whoa no 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 that's what we want there and i'm starting to move and i don't want to do that so, we'll back. Anyways. so also while you're doing this you're going to be wanting to get money i am working on getting a new things are getting interesting come, come. really already blew that one up. Okay. Uh, Dreadnought. I found one that I like, and it's actually even... Ooh. Why do they all have biometric shield? What the hell, man? I mean, that's fine. Y'all gonna be dead. So long and, and of course, as you can see, they've added a few new little things here and there. To... So we've got a carrier we can't take over. But all of them, that's weird. Since when did all these guys get this shielding? That's okay. We can just take them down. Hopefully it's not going to be like that. And they're all of them. All right, you're next, buddy. So as you're going through, and you can and afford to be able to get new ships, I would suggest doing so. There's always something bigger and more powerful. So I just found something pretty beefy. Hopefully. I'm halfway there, so I just got to keep... Target neutralized. Well, way, hopefully we'll be able to afford. We go. Now, of course, once you're doing this, you want to make sure you've got plenty of T drives I because anywhere -drive. there's a issue, like here, we're gonna go get. Time to die. Except you guys, you. I'm gonna hold on to. Prepare the escape pods. We're going down. Dying is the last thing I'll do. Get over here. Hostile target eliminated. Of course, you want to keep your eye on the other targets and not just on the one that we're killing here. We're taking over, I should say. All of it. Gone. Yep. All right, 
that one, everybody get. Oops, that's the one I'm working on. Oh, better get it quick. <laughs> Anyways. I, as a standard procedure, as I'm taking over territory, I try to take and get as much as I can. All right, so, boom, boom. Those are good. All right, how is this one? You're kidding me. Corneon is one thing. But no, this battle right here. Okay. So you're telling me this, you, that the, the crappy carrier with more than twice the firepower can't take it out. But if this was reversed, it wouldn't be a problem. That's difficult. Anyway, so as you're going, make sure also you do have enough to step behind and slam your upgrades because you're going to need them. So now, looks like we've got a baby station to take over. I got a cruiser left. Out. Oh boy. Ooh, that's a lot of ships. What do we got here? Gunships. Hmm. Oh, there's another battleship. Getting nice and close. Eighty-one. All right, good sir. I'm gonna hold you. And wow, everything else is just gonna get wet. So we'll just start heading on in. Make sure, of course, you always have your fire at will going as you go into a station so you can shoot everything that you can. All right. And if you're going to capture a ship, try to make sure you are inside their little shield thing here so you can be shooting at stuff. Ooh, there's a carrier right there. Hey, why doesn't everybody go kill that? Of course, you always want to keep your eyes on everything that's going on. I'm going to go kill that carrier myself here in about two seconds once we take over this base. The only thing I wish was that they would take, uh, our fleet would take uh, direction a little better because I can tell them, here, go kill that, and they don't do it. But it's all good. We can just zip on through here. My kids are taken care of, and actually, we should make sure we tell everybody to do that because they're kind of working on it, kind of not. There, kids. Ooh, I could try to take it over. This is a good example of um, things to do if you know you can't take over the ship, but you're still trying to get your prestige points, right? So, cargo bay, so it's military, so it's got no cargo, and you can see that up here. So there's no point in going after that. You only get a point for that. The engine and shield room are the two areas that you want to hit. You get two points each. And I am working on the very top end of that now. So engine room. Will, oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, they blew it up anyways. Oh, well, anyways, that's what you would have wanted to do was take out uh, the engine room and shield because then 
you get those four points. So, now, you might be thinking, oh, is all we're going to see is constant combat and that's it? Well, actually, no. There are a few other things that I have been saving, and hopefully if I can get my hands on, uh, let's see, all but one of those two, who's all left out here? Man, oh, no, that one's gone. All through! Abandon ship! That's a platform. Why don't you guys kill that? Please. And that should be it. Yay! See, I'm at level 40. So, we're going to put our shields to full. And where is that? And we're going to dock real quick. Do do change the paint up a little bit. Definitely need to get a new ship. And I'm working on it, like I said. But, you know, they are, uh, Dreadnoughts start around 70 to 80 million, so. Bam, we got a shipyard here. Yeah. Right there. This bad boy. It's a carrier. And it's weaker. Then we've got the Praetorian. And it's actually a little weaker. There is another ship, though, that I've been looking at that is not weaker. The arm, equipment, always grab your T drive. See, we're at 54. I just got to move the rest of this. Alrighty, folks, so we're at 6,300. <laughs> we lost most of that crappy feet, but that's okay. So now, Strike Force 1 is at 47. What do we got up here? It's got nine cruisers, so that's kind of my extra little cruiser builds. Yeah, ooh, you. You son of a... You're all that's left. Of their once mighty feats. Now die. Eliminated. All right, now we are up to the big baddie. When we take this one over, look at that. We get all three plus another super capital ship. All right. So hold on, folks. We'll be back in one second. Let's go, boys. So this is the time consuming part. So once I get all the anomalies zipped out, we'll be right back. So you guys don't have to sit through it. Hold on one second. Right, folks, got them all cleaned up. Initiating scan. Let's get our scan going. Figure out where it pops in. Take us another point. So a few things, of course, to remember. Our job is to protect Proxima till it can fire, which means our butts Stay glued to Proxima. Do not go out and meet other fleets or you will get yoked up.
let, my, let the fleets come to us. Our fight has risen to... of saving my big overload here. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, I shouldn't even be able to make it this far. Alright, like I say, as always, we've got to wait for Proxima to go here. Oh, hello, bad guy. Ooh, and yet another one. Yep, yep. The cold calls to us. So I guess I'm gonna get out of Proxima's way so that it doesn't keep shooting me. Is there a reason why it's shooting me? I embrace the cold embrace. Destroyed an enemy target. Only the cold tempers the soul. Almost all systems down. See that other fleet just to our down here. Our enemy down. Here. down. Kill carrier, I lose a Everybody come in and suck it. starting to get interesting. Quick, everybody kill it. Momentarily, the mining beam can set us off.
target neutralized. Not all of them, though. Ooh, doggy. All crew, abandon ship. Look at that. What the? F You've got to be kidding me. Come on, honey. Gust of fire. We're not going to be able to make it. Come on. Come on. A few more seconds. Might bring a bigger fleet in. Yeah. folks so there we go we won well folks I'd like to thank you for watching today as always I am the Rev please like favorite and subscribe make sure you are sharing as much as possible so we can let other people know how much of a kick-ass game this is and as always next time when we come back I'll have some other little ticks and tricks and tips for you and more planet domination so give your heads down your guns up and I'll see you again real damn soon.